Good morning, good morning, good morning. Greetings here from the United Independent Movement platform. My name is Fatima Abdul. For those who don't know me, I am the VP of the United Independent Movement. And today I'm not going to be very long because I am restricted, restricted in terms of time. So um, just, just once again, kudos to our SG last night for um, the live that he did on this platform, it is always, always informative and so refreshing to get all the information that we got. Unfortunately, I was not, I just started watching and then it was load shedding. And after load shedding, we had our portion of crime where cable theft took place. So I am still without power. But I shall watch the whole thing later today when we do have power. It's very interesting what the city council policy is. And that is that you as a normal civil civilian citizen you have to even though the pole is outside of your yard which is actually the property of the city council you as a civilian you have to phone get a reference number go to saps and get a case number before they fix the light i think it's just another way of just controlling our people and to implement bureaucracy because I think that is an utter rubbish um, policy. That's just my opinion. So talking about civilians, we as the civil society of South Africa, I think you by now you must, the penny should have dropped and that is the fact that we are responsible for ourselves. We are responsible for our own food, we are responsible for our own education, we are responsible for our safety and security because it has been proven over and over again that most of the civil or law enforcement agencies in South Africa are not really doing their jobs. Now, I'm not referring to everyone. I am very much aware that there are individual law enforcement um, officials who do their work sufficiently, competently and with diligence. But let us be real and realize that the power is in the hands of the civilians. Civil society needs to stand up more than ever before. It is our responsibility as human beings, as citizens of South Africa, to see to it that everything is in place. It took civilians of South Africa to take up the baton to make people aware of the fact that we are being misled by our so-called government, by number one, who is the person who is sitting in the pres presidential seat, Sir Ramaphosa. Number two, the person who sits in the minister of police seat, which is Becky Kele, and all the rest of them. They have been uh, conducting and implementing things which is not beneficial for the South African citizens, but it is mostly um, beneficial for them personally and also the party organization that they stand for, which is the African National Congress. You, I am sure, because I know that I am speaking to intelligent people who see uh, everything that needs to be seen. It took civilians to tell the bigger, the broader community that these uh, so-called uh, COVID laws and re health regulations, etc., etc., are unlawful. It took normal civilians to create awareness. It took normal civilians to spread the truth. It took normal civilians to take a beating. Yes, 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 we took a beating. We were criticized. We were ostracized. We were rejected. We were, we were shunned, but it's fine. We did it with the bigger picture in mind. And for that reason, we have 70% of our people that have not been uh, injected with poison. Yes, let's just call the sin by its name. Eh? It's poison. And um, it is most unfortunate that 30% actually went and were totally misled. And they even took their children. And therefore, we have children that are now dying in hospital due to heart failure, strokes and all sorts of illnesses, which is not normal for children. Uh, because of the 30% that took what the, the injection, they are now suffering from illnesses which is, they cannot 
they don't understand why they have all these illnesses. For instance, the cancers and um, heart problems, etc., etc., blood clots and so on. So I'm not thumb sucking this. It's now out in the open. Uh, international media, true media is putting it out there. It is the truth. Okay. So, coming back to us as South Africans, we are, for me, I am now over that. I am fighting other battles, uh, which is more in your face, which is which in, concludes GBV, but mostly GBV, uh, done by the so-called law enforcement agencies called SAPs. Now, in your community, it might be different scenarios. In your community, there might be different challenges, but... Whatever the challenge may be, I need to call on the men. Die manna. Die manna. Die manna wat veronderstel is om die gatekeepers. You're supposed to be the gatekeepers of the community. Stop stop the lull that you are in. O op slaap. You are being lulled into a position where you just want to relax Jy wil net graag met jou bierkie sit en jy wil net met jou, met jou pelle sit in een shabine, in een sportspa, evers of wherever by die huis en so aan. Jy moet ons het nou nachter manne nodig. Ja, ja, ja. We need sober men to stand in the gap for our children and our women. The women are doing their part. I have seen women doing more than that, their part. I have seen women patrolling the streets because the men are... Mm, Hoe het hulle gesê, nie, uh, as ek my huis verlaat, en dan gaan my vrou en my kinders nie veilig wees nie. Wel, jy weet, die punt sy naam is die, whether jy nou by die huis is of nie by die huis is nie, jou kinders is nog steeds nie veilig nie. Wat van, dink aan die breer gemeenskap en hou die hele gemeenskap veilig, so doende is jou familie dan ook veilig. So this is my encouragement. The other thing that I would like to share with you is that we really, really, really need to move into community gardens. When I say community gardens, I actually mean that gardens within the community. In your own in your own garden. If you don't have a garden, there are little pots. You can use other holders to start growing your own food. Die skrif is teen die meer op een of ander tyd gaan ons nie meer kos kan koop in winkels nie. We will have to start feeding one another. As ek artikels tomaties en eie het in my tuin en my neiby het boinkies en, en soepetats en kool in hulle tuin, dan kan ons reil handel drijf. Nee, dit is die richting waarin ons beweeg. We have to be real about it. And as a family, I would like to encourage you, wherever you are, start reaching out. You, we cannot be living in our little silos anymore. You cannot be bogged down or bound by your little address where your mail goes to or where you park your car every day because there's a huge society out there that needs your assistance. Because here's the thing. If you don't help your neighbor, your neighbor will steal from you because your neighbor will become hungry and your neighbor will become desperate. So how about taking hands, empowering everyone and feed one another? I know there's something called neighborhood watch. We're checking each other's houses. Do it even more, even more, even more earnestly. It is the civilian's rights to take responsibility of themselves because no one else sees the need to do that okay so that is all from my side i am so happy to have connected with you it might not be live but we do what we can god bless you and keep well <laughs>